this is Jonathan Cohen's, and this is my gadget. Uh, the idea behind my gadget is to, given some audio source, to flash these LED strands um, in, uh, along with the amplitude peaks of the audio source. Um, my camera is pretty poor at picking up uh, high uh, resolution at very close, so that's why I have the pictures. But there's a microphone here, and there's a line-in jack here and it's hooked up via breadboard to an Arduino which is run off of a 9 volt battery and the four LED strands. Uh, I decided to put this inside of one of the SparkFun boxes I got because those are nice and sturdy. So, to demonstrate it doing this, it, now it's set up to run off of the microphone. So when I close it up And uh, one issue is that the source from into the microphone needs to be very loud because the threshold needs to be very high due to noise uh, in the ground signal when I turn on the LEDs, so that's unfortunate. So I'm going to blow on the microphone and hopefully you'll hear. Yeah. That the LEDs actually do light up. So now, let's see what happens when I put it up to a music source. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got mud on your face, you big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place. So it works. That's good. Um, but I'll, I also have it dynamically checked to see if an audio signal gets plugged in. So if I plug this in, uh, if I plug it in all the way, oh, what's going on? Hold on a sec. There we go. Okay, so now it's going to be reading. I didn't touch anything software-wise. It figured out that something's plugged in. So now if I play the same thing again, So it works with both, um, and software-wise, it's just sampling the audio source and finding the average value of the signal, which should be the center of the audio signal. And then if any sample deviates far enough from that average, we can set that a peak and turn the LEDs on. And then if we ever read something that's not a peak, we turn the LEDs off. And as you can see, it works pretty well. Um, it's using an Arduino. Um, I cut some holes in the box to make things more accessible so that the LED strands could uh, come out. I also cut a hole in the side here where you can fit the uh, USB plug in so that you don't keep chewing through 9 volt batteries. Um, the problem is, is that the noise uh, when using the USB value is bad enough that the microphone is barely usable, but on the 9 volt battery it works pretty well. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to email me if uh, something doesn't make sense. Hopefully between this and the photos that I sent you, uh, all should be good. Thanks.